Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last session, I have explained how does Cockcroft Walton type voltage multiplier circuit operate and what are the peculiarities of Cockcroft Walton type voltage multiplier circuit. I explained already. Today I will be explaining what are the performance parameters of Cockcroft Walton type voltage multiplier circuit. Performance parameters. Performance parameters. Let us see how to calculate the performance parameters of Cockcroft Walton type voltage multiplier circuit. First performance parameter is output to voltage, that means voltage across the load. How do we calculate output to voltage? That you can see output to voltage. First one. Output to voltage, you can denote V0. So V0 is given by 2n into V max. 2n into V max. Where n is the number of stages. Number of stages connected. V max is the maximum value of input voltage. It is the maximum value of input voltage. This is the way I can calculate output voltage. V0 equal to 2n into V max. Next one is. I can able to calculate ripple voltage. Second one is ripple voltage. Ripple voltage. You know, ripple voltage is nothing but presence of AC current in the DC output. That is known as ripple voltage. Presence of AC voltage at the DC output to voltage. That is known as ripple voltage. I can easily calculate ripple voltage by using the formula. Delta V, delta V equal to, delta V equal to, N into, N into, I1 by Fc, I1 by Fc, I1 by S, Fc, where N is the number of stages, I1 is the load current, that means this will be I1, I1, this will be I1, I1, I1 be the load current, I1 be the load current, and F is the supply frequency, and C is the value of, uh, capacitance. If you want, you can write I1 load current. I1 load current. I1 is the load current. And F is the supply frequency. F is the supply frequency. And C is the value of capacitance. C is the value of capacitance. These are the two main parameters like uh, output voltage and ripple voltage. Next, how do you calculate the total ripple voltage? Third one is total ripple voltage. Total ripple voltage. Total ripple voltage. Short form I can write delta V total. Delta V total can be easily calculated by using the formula. You can write Delta V total that is equal to I1 by Fc into 1 plus 2 plus etc plus N. You know I can write one formula that means I1 by Fc into there is a one short form N into n plus 1 by 2. I think already studied in max. 1 plus 2 plus uh, sum of first n natural numbers. I can go for one formula n into n plus 1 by 2. So, this is the final formula for calculating uh, total ripple voltage. That means delta V total. We can put in a particular bracket and we can study further. Then I can calculate percentage ripple. Percentage ripple. Fourth one is percentage ripple. How to calculate? Percentage ripple. Percentage ripple. It is very easy. What is ripple ripple percentage? That means ripple voltage divided by total voltage into 100. Percentage ripple. Ripple voltage. How to calculate percentage ripple? That can be calculated by using the formula. What is the expression for ripple voltage? Delta V. Correct. Delta V. What is the expression for ripple voltage? Is delta V. To the total voltage. What is the total voltage? 2N into V max. 2n into v max, 2n into v max multiplied by 100 to convert into percentage. So I will be getting percentage of ripple or ripple percentage. 
Next, I need to calculate voltage regulation. How to calculate voltage regulation? I will be writing. Percentage voltage regulation. Voltage regulation will be expressed in terms of percentage only. How to calculate voltage voltage regulation? Percentage voltage regulation. Percentage voltage regulation. That means voltage drop. Voltage drop divided by total voltage into 100. Then you will be getting percentage voltage regulation. So expression for voltage drop, I will be writing. Delta V, I will be writing delta V divided by what's the total voltage 2n into V max, 2n into V max into 100. Then you will be getting uh, voltage regulation in terms of per percentage. So, how to calculate voltage drop delta V? Delta V can be easily calculated by using the formula I by FC, I means load current, F means frequency, C means capacitance, I by FC into 2 by 3 n cube. 2 by 3 n cube plus n square by 2 n square by 2 minus n by 6 n by 6 then close the square bracket this expression for delta v so delta v upon 2 n into v max into percentage voltage regulation that value should be as minimum as possible less voltage regulation means more performance now moving on next one optimum number of stages please copy down the equation most important Sixth one is optimum number of stages. How to calculate? How do we calculate optimum number of stages? Optimum. Optimum number of stages. I can write eta optimum. Eta. I will be using the symbol eta. Eta optimum. How to select optimum number of stages in general? That means you can select the exact number of stages with the minimum voltage drop. That means how to calculate optimum number of stages. That is given by one standard formula. Square root of V max, square root of V max into Fc divided by I. Where V max is the maximum value of input voltage, F is the supply frequency, C is the capacitance of the Cockcraft Walton type voltage multiplier circuit or I is the load current. So this is the way how you can select optimum number of stages. So we have discussed the sixth performance parameter and please note down all the formula concerning to performance parameters. Same thing will be asked in the examination or in terms of numerical also they will be asking in the examination. Uh, for, so thanks for watching this video. Please share and subscribe. Thank you.